Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to book a flight on Expedia. So first I suggest you to sign in. So I'm going to do that right now. Here we are again on the website. So we can choose it between stay, flights, cars, packages, things to do and cruises. So we click on flights. And here we'll say uh, round trip, one way or multi-city and ec economy class, premium economy, business class or first class. Let's click economy. And let's do a round trip. So we're leaving from Amsterdam, for example. Skip all it is here. And let's go to Rome. So I don't know. Let's say all airports for now. So let's do a date. So it's now the 14th, but let's do the 28th until, uh, let's say the 30th on a Friday to a Thursday. So let's go 30 August to September 3 and we do not have a car at a place to stay and we're one traveler. So let's click on search and now it's searching and actually one uh, when you spend and you're uh, registered for the wonky cash um, program then you also get wonky cash uh, for every dollar you spend. So you can redeem them as well for some prices. So here we are recommending the parting flights. So here we got the, the flight. So with Aita Airways, Calam, Aita Airways. I think these are the only flight. Oh, Swiss International Airlines flight also. So here you can see, is it one, one way or has it a stop? So this is one way, two hours and 50 minutes flight and 408 and you can filter actually here really easy on prices which day is cheaper to the way flights so let's do actually 29 because that's cheaper right now and then we actually going to book so here you can also filter if you want for stops airlines travel and baggage uh the morning afternoon evening arrival time and the airport so let's click now on this one in the ETA Airways because it's the cheapest and then click on select. You can add even price drop to protection. So if the price drops by a lot, if there are not a lot of people booking a flight, then the price could drop and you can actually add this. So here it is the info. So if you find a lower flight, uh, they automatically refund you and you can book it again. So let's click on select. And now it's actually selected. And now we have to select a returning flight. So it's plus zero. So it's just the price from the first one. And if you want to book uh, like another thing or, uh, or you want to make it more expensive, you always can, of course. But we're just gonna select the zero. And we don't want to uh, search for hotels. So now we go up to the flight deals, uh, flight detail details and there's free cancellation if you cancel within uh within 24 hours of booking um there's no cancellation fee so you can even see the co2 um so this average is below your fair flight you can even upgrade and book a car if you want so if you do this you your flight is 111 and your taxes is absolutely insane here 244 so it's mostly if your flight and you will earn one cash if you book it through here. So let's go to checkout. You can even choose seats, but I think these will cost. Okay, I cannot see it. No, they're having trouble. Nice. So <laughs> let's go to the checkout and skip that one. And here we are. So who's traveling, first name, last name. You have to fill in everything. Um, you could do this, but it's also an add up and how you would like to pay. So they accept debit card, American Express. I don't know what's this exactly. Dinner's Club, Discover Card, GCB. Uh, I don't know this one, UATP and Visa. And from here on, you can uh, do flight protection if you want. I usually don't do that, but some people do. And please read everything carefully and then click on complete booking. I will not do that for now because uh, I don't need a flight right now, but that's actually how to do it. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching.